There's not much time to shake off the rust from the summer when you've only got a weekend to prove you deserve a spot on the team. That was the challenge for a big group of new faces at the Fort St. John Huskies tryout camp. While the numbers weren't exactly where the Huskies staff would have liked them to be, there was still a good competitive atmosphere throughout the weekend. It's been going good. We're a little bit shorthanded this, this time around. We've got about uh, 11, 12 players that are out at different camps, so it's uh, a little bit different than last year. Camp's been pretty good. A lot of new faces, you know, don't have the firepower that we did last year, but it's definitely good to see some new faces and local kids coming in and, you know, coming to camp and hopefully uh, making the team. No more Cody Disher, no more Kale Bell, and no more Jordan Harder. That's the entire Huskies top line from last year, all gone, including the team's captain as well as league MVP. So the question for Fort St. John this year is, who's going to step up? I don't think that anybody's really going to replace Boots. Uh, we never really look at that. Every year we lose key guys, and every year you have surprises and guys that come up and play roles and, until we really get into things and start sorting out lines and start having a practice where we can figure things out, then it's hard to, to tell. Robinson knows that he'll be expected to play a bigger role on the team this year now that he's one of the senior players. Robinson said he's hoping to take a bigger leadership role this season using guys like Disher, Harder and Bell as examples. Those guys have been in the league for a long time and their leadership qualities were, you know, really good and you kind of just pick up on you know things to say and uh, just how to act. After cuts are made on Sunday this year's Huskies will have their first chance to take the ice as a team September 16th and 17th in back-to-back -back exhibition games against the Vermilion Tigers. Peter Houston, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.